Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fallout 2 playthrough. So in the last video, it was about getting out of the, the village, getting a build going because I'm absolutely just terrible with the spear, terrible with unarmed, and uh, yeah, it was a lot of just running away from things. But now, we're at a point where we have, we've got a gun and we've got a little bit of ammo. Just, you know, just a little bit, you know, not enough to get us through. Okay, looks like we're at Mom's Diner. You must be Mom. Hello there, my name's Mom and I run this place. Got the best food north of New Reno, too. What's there to do here in town? Well, I sure need someone to deliver a meal to Smitty. He's just west of here at the junkyard. Will you do it for me? I'll give you a free meal if you do. Smitty. Now, wait a second. Isn't that the guy from the first game who's in, uh, Additum and he helped me with the armor? Sure, I don't mind. Thanks so much. I'd do it myself, but there's nobody to watch this place while I'm gone. Here's Smitty's meal. If I didn't have it brought to him, I'm sure he'd forget to eat. I'll bring it right over to him. Let's see here. I haven't even been over here. Is this the junkyard? So this little tiny junkyard, if it is. Smitty, are you in here? Let's find out. Where the hell is Solik? Hello? Solik? There he is. Okay, he's just having a nice walk. Watch out for those kids! Why are you going in there? Doesn't matter. You see a greasy old coot. Oh god. I don't... This guy... I'm pretty sure the guy I'm thinking of had, like, combat armor and stuff. I don't think this is the same guy? Question mark? Maybe it is? Hello there, cute stuff. What can old Smitty do for you? First of all, lay off on the cute stuff. Not interested, pal. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I brought your meal for mom's. Thanks mucho, compadre. Here's a little something for your trouble. It'll come in handy around these parts. He hands you a stim pack. All right, Smitty, you can call me cute stuff if you're going to be giving me stim packs. Thanks, Smitty. No problem. See you around. We're not done. I saw something I'm interested in here. Hey there, I really enjoyed my meal from Mom's. Thanks. Now, what can old Smitty do for you? You ate that really fast. I, I literally just talked to you. You need to, you need to chew your food. Say, old timer, I have this thing here that I picked up in Klamath. Let old Smitty here take a look at it. Sure, here it is. Hmm, that looks just like a fuel cell regulator. If I had a car that ran, it'd sure improve the mileage on it. Huh? Well, you see, I've got this car. A Chrysalis Motors Highwayman? Is it Chrysalis or Chrysalis? I gotta make an executive decision here. I'm gonna say Chrysalis because it reminds, it reminds me of Chrysler, okay? Give me a break. <clears throat> Well, you see, I've got this car, a Chrysler Motors Highwayman. She's a beaut, too. They used to say nothing can stop a Highwayman. Build tough, that's what they were. Yeah, so what's that got to do with me? Well, a lot and not so much at the same time. Huh? What I'm saying is that having a regulator is nice, but you need to find a fuel cell controller. Why's that? Because if and you had a controller in 2000 and money... <laughs> I love calling it money... <laughs> I could fix this here Chrysler Motors Highwayman that I got here and you could drive around in style. Really? Where can I find a fuel cell controller? Now that's a silly question. Don't you think if I knew that I'd be driving around in the car? Wow. I'll have to look for one of those. Be a good idea. If you find one, just come on back here with it. Oh, and don't forget the 2000 money neither. Sounds like a plan, Smitty. I'm gonna go look for one right now. Goodbye. I'm not gonna go out of my way to look for that if I when I I say if I'm hoping I'll find it just on my travels when I find it I will um I'll come back here and do my thing so hopefully I will start uh bringing in the big bucks and I will find the item I'm supposed to find and then we'll have a car we'll pimp that sucker out okay I think I'm leaving now but I do want to say slavers guild I'm coming for you Enjoy your time while you can. I'm going to come back. And, uh, well, let's just say you're you're not going to be there much longer. We'll just put it that way. Okay, so now we're heading to Vault City. Unknown. Let's go there. Oh, and there's another unknown above Vault City. Where are we? There's a general store. I guess I'll rest until daytime. 
An average person of average height, of average complexion. Nothing out of the ordinary. I'll be the judge of that. Sorry, this trading post is closed indefinitely due to the drought. I'm new here. What can you tell me about this town? Well then, welcome to Modoc, the Marvel villain? My name's Joe, and I run this here trading post. We don't have much. Just a few farms, a slaughterhouse, Rose's bed and breakfast, and a tannery. Just enough to produce goods to trade. Although that could all change with this drought. I'm looking for a certain item, and I was wondering if you might be able to help me locate it. Well, spit it out. I can't help you if you don't tell me what you're looking for, and I sure ain't going to stand here and try to guess what you're looking for. Uh, I don't know if I should ask him. I'm going to do it. Why not? I'm looking for the Holy Geck. Well, you're in luck. I just happen to know where it is. I guess we have some business to discuss after all. Really? I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect that answer. I'm a little skeptical. What do you want for this information? Ah, oh, yes. What I want. If you hadn't noticed yet, our little farming community is experiencing one of its worst droughts ever. The rainy season was unusually short this year, and our crops are dying from lack of water. To put it bluntly, our community is on the verge of withering away with our crops. Um, you do know I can't make it rain, right? He chuckles softly. No, no, of course not. I wouldn't ask you to do something as impossible as that. You really can't make it rain, can you? No, of course you can't. Anyway, like I was saying, you're, we're in trouble and we could use your help. Okay, I'm listening. There's this farm on the outskirts of town where no farm should be. Some years back, it just appeared out of nowhere. Are you saying that this farm just sprung up overnight? Yeah, right. A group of us were hunting when we noticed the new farm, but that wasn't the strange thing. Soon after, some of us got together to visit our new neighbor, only to discover that there wasn't anybody there. Go on. After many months of trying to contact the owners with no success, it was decided that the farm must have been abandoned soon after it was built. So instead of letting the crops rot in the fields, young Carl moved in. Hmm. That's when things got bad. Carl started to tell stories of seeing strange glowing figures tending the crops and feeding the animals at night. We all laughed at him, thinking he was making up stories. Then one day, Carl stopped coming into town. What happened to him? Did you look for him? Of course we did. We went up there as soon as we suspected anything was wrong. He starts to tremble violently. The horror. The bodies strewn everywhere. Some crucified, while others were left to rot out in the sun. I still wake up screaming in the middle of the night from the horrible images I saw that day. So let me guess. You want me to go to this farm and find out what happened? Normally, I would just leave that cursed place be. But for some reason, the crops at this farm are still flourishing despite the drought. We'll starve if we don't get food soon. Will you help us rid the farm of these ghosts? What do I get out of this? In return for helping us, I'll tell you where you can find what you seek. Hmm. I'm a little worried this guy's trying to use me, but there's no real way to know. Then it's a deal. Show me where the ghost farm is. The farm is about a day's travel northeast of here. He pulls out a map and points out to a spot northeast of Modoc. Come back when you've found something. Goodbye. Okay, so now I have a little bit more direction. This is a small town. I guess I'll just continue looking around and talking to people and figuring out what the hell's going on. You see a heavy set man wearing a leather apron. Hello, my name's Balthus. I run the tannery here in Modoc. Can I help you? You seem a bit preoccupied. Is there something wrong? Huh? Look, I don't discuss my personal life with strangers. Do you have any business with me or not? Pardon me. My name's Denkelberg. Now that we're properly introduced, you seem troubled. Well, I'm worried about my missing son, Johnny. We've searched everywhere, but still can't find him. I fear that maybe wild animals got him. Maybe I can help. I do a lot of traveling. I'll keep a lookout for your boy. I would really appreciate that. Every little bit helps. In the meantime, did you have some business with me? No, not really. I'll be going. Thanks. All right, to the ghost farm. We're so close to Vault City, too. That's cool. Oh, my God. All right, I'm kind of scoping the place out. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Slag. Oh, no. What the hell's happening? This looks... Mighty dangerous. Are these people 
doing bad stuff here? Surrender or die. How about die? I'm gonna die. Maybe I should come here during the daytime, because clearly nighttime is uh, pretty dangerous. I'll just try and kill this person. And I missed. Woo, good shot. And I died. Okay, I'm gonna try waiting until morning. Good lord. Pretty brutal. Okay, no one's here this time. Now what the heck? <laughs> I'm going in. Is anyone in here? Uh, I fell in. What the hell? There's an underground society thing going on here. Now what? We have been instructed to take all surfacers to Vigir. You will not be harmed. Please come with us. I don't know if that's how you say his name. That's just what I went with. I'd like to ask you some questions. Vigir will answer all your questions. Vigir, Vigir. Please come with us. Okay, I'll go with you peacefully for now. I love that for now. A visitor. How convenient. I've been contemplating on a way to make contact with the surfacers, but now I don't have to worry about that. Thanks to your timely arrival. Welcome to the home of the slags. What do you want with me? A simple request. We need to make contact with the town to the southwest. I believe it's called Modoc. Would you do us this favor? I have many questions to ask before I can possibly take this mission. Fair enough. I wouldn't expect anyone to blindly accept tasks from strangers without first learning a little bit about them first. Ask your questions and I will answer them the best I can. Tell me about your people. Once, long ago, we were once like the surfacers. We too dwelled above ground until the world above caught fire. Our ancestors, who were a part of a secret militia, sealed themselves and their families down here for protection. For generations down here we've remained, safely hidden within the womb of Mother Earth. Can I ask you some more questions? Ask your questions. Why the big ghost charade on the surface? Years ago, someone tried to take over our farm, harvesting crops and stealing animals they had no right to. We are not a violent people by nature, but something had to be done. Our survival at the time depended on those crops. That's when we came with the ghost idea. Smearing ourselves with glowing fungus, we were able to scare away this person and any other nosy neighbors. Unfortunately, this has been a little too effective. Lately, we've been seeking to make contact with the surfacers, but no one comes to the farm anymore for the fear of the ghosts. Luckily, you've dropped by. Why did you come back to the surface? Our population steadily increased since the ceiling. It soon became apparent that we could no longer survive down here without further supplies. So the seal was broken, and we once again looked at the surface for survival. What is the purpose of your message? With the completion of the new irrigation systems, our food supply far exceeds our needs. We wish to establish trade with the surfacers and exchange surplus foods for much needed medicines. Okay, but what's with all the people outside, all those dead bodies? What's that about? Can I ask that? What are your defenses? Enough. No more questions. Make your decision now. Yes, I will gladly carry your message to Modoc. I knew you would understand. Here is a message relaying our request. Please take it to Modoc and give it to the person in charge. Return here when your task is complete. I will tell the protectors to expect your, your return. We thank you for doing our, us this service. What did I just get myself into? Okay, I guess I'm gonna go back? How do I get out of here? I guess I'm gonna open this. They better not get mad. Let's talk to this guy. Vigir said it's alright to let you through. You bet your ass he did. Alright, back up here. Yeah, these look like bodies to me. Okay, let's go back. You're back. What did you find out about the farm? I have a message for you from the leader of the slags. Slags? Who are they? What's this? Joe opens and reads the message. This is incredible. They've been living underground all this time. They say they'd be willing to trade food for medical supplies and other stuff. I don't know if they can be trusted. After all, they killed Carl and all those other people. What do you think? What can I do to help? We're going to attack, but only as the last resort. We only have a month's supply of food left before we start to starve. You have until then to find out what is going on. I won't negotiate with them unless I know for certain that they didn't do anything to Carl, and I have to know their reason for staking all those people out in front of their farm. I won't deal with savages. Goodbye. Okay, looks like we're going back. How good of you to return. I take it you have delivered the message to Modoc then? How was it received? 
They have some reservations. About what? They want to know what happened to the farmer that was living here. We scared him off the farm. Nothing more. I assume he went back home when he discovered the farm was haunted. The protectors reported him headed northwest. You might try searching for him that way. They don't trust you. After all, you kill passerby and stake the bodies out in front of your farm. We are a peaceful people and I have killed no one. Those bodies are merely props we have manufactured to scare off those who try to steal from us. If you examine the bodies closely, you'll notice that they are nothing but Brahmin guts and dummies. I'll keep you informed of my progress. We're going to attack the slags in 29 days unless you can convince me otherwise. Oh, really, man? You give me the countdown? Those bodies are fake. Just dummies covered in Brahmin guts. They were there to scare you away from the crops. Fake. That's impossible. I saw them with my own eyes. Blood and gore everywhere. But... I guess it's possible we didn't... I mean, well... Joe's face turns beet red. We all kind of turned tail and ran when we saw the bodies. No one actually had the guts to examine them closely. That's all I know for now. Spare some change for an old out-of-work farmer? What's your story? He sobers up quickly and begins to tell his tale. I used to be an upstanding citizen before coming here. I was a peaceful farmer that worked the fields as hard as any man. Until they started showing up at night. All glowing with pasty white skin. Oh, we found our man. Spooked the hell out of me, it did. Night after night, they showed up and sold crops and cattle alike. I could do nothing to stop them. I know what you're going to say. Why didn't you ask for help? I tell you, I did. Nobody would believe me. They thought I was crazy. Finally, it just became too much for me. I couldn't take it anymore. I just up and left and came here. And here I've been ever since. Carl starts to weep uncontrollably. You decide to leave him with his misery. We're going to attack the slags in four days. There's a drunkard in the den who matches Carl's description. Says he used to be a farmer too. The den. I, I guess we were a little hard on him. I can imagine what he went through at the ghost farm with nobody believing him and all. You say he's a drunkard now at the den? If you could give him the message that we believe him and that he could come home, I would be most appreciative. Now, will you talk to the leader of the Slags? Yes, I believe the Slags and the people of Modoc will be able to come to some kind of mutually beneficial agreement. Thank you for saving the people of Modoc. Yes. Oh my gosh, really cutting it close with those four days left, but I'm happy that it worked out. There's this little thing about my reward. You said you'd tell me where the Holy Gek was? Here we go. Acting a little embarrassed. Um, well, you see, I don't really know anything about this holy geck thing you're looking for. You have to understand, we were desperate. However, I, I do know of a place called Gecko. It's a way east of here somewheres. If I were a betting man, I would wager your geck gizmo is located there. Thank you, you've saved us all. Wow, that was really shitty. I guess I'm going to make my way to Vault City? I don't know where else to go. I never found Johnny. You see a well? Okay, it's open now. What's down here? Some XP? What? It's short as hell. Hey, there's some water. Johnny's BB gun? Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Any luck finding Johnny? I found this at the bottom of the old dry well. A part of the well had fallen in, and this was in the debris. I'm sorry, but I believe Johnny is dead. That's Johnny's BB gun, all right. Darth Vader. No. <laughs> I'm laughing about this guy's child being dead. It's not funny, okay? That's not what I'm laughing about. Balthus breaks down and starts to cry uncontrollably. Talk to him again. Please leave me to my grief. I understand. Sorry to disturb you. Let's barter. Let's barter. Hey, I know your child's dead, but can we barter? You have 500 uh, monies. I don't have anything to sell right now. Guess I'll talk to his wife? Please find Johnny. Um, <clears throat> that's awkward. Moving on. I didn't get anything for doing that. I'm selling this BB gun. Unless they took it out of my inventory. Oh, no, no, I don't have it anymore. Ah, uh, that's for the best. I guess I'm confused. Nothing happened. Uh, I'm gonna go to the ghost farm. I don't know. I'm, I'm not so sure this is over. How did I fall in the hole last time? Is there a hole? There's literally nothing in those. Wonderful. There we go. Ouch, it hurts. You do know you can enter through the front door. 
Okay, you know what? Some of us are just, we like to make an entrance, all right? I don't see what the problem is. I'm not making the same mistake as I did with Carl, where I almost messed that up. I'm going to talk to anybody who doesn't say slag. But first, I need to talk to uh, V-Gear over here. How good of you to return. I take it you have delivered the message to Modoc then? How was it received? Oh, now I'm really glad I came back. The message was received well. The town of Modoc would like to establish trade with your people. Thank you for helping us. You will always be welcome here. For your services, I offer you this as a reward. Vigor hands you an assault rifle. Nice. But does he have bullets to buy? No, he just has his own bullets here, it looks like. Dang it. Oh my god. You know what I just remembered? There's kids over here. But they all look the same. What is happening here? This guy is walking in the ether. Hey, good for you, buddy. Hello. I haven't seen you around here before. What? <laughs> Tell me your name, you little monster. <laughs> Would you like some candy, little kid? Never say that to a child. Unless you're like, you have some candy. I don't know. It's just, a, it's just a cursed phrase. Let's see. What's your name, little boy? My name is Johnny. What's yours? Thank God I almost gave up on this. My name's Dinkelberg. Very nice to meet you, Dinkelberg. Your mother and father have sent me to find you. That's swell. I wanted to go home, but Viger says his people can't travel that far above ground. It wouldn't take me. Not that I doubt you, but what's my father's name? Uh, Cornelius <laughs> Balthus. I remember, yeah, you can't forget the name like that. That's right. Yippee. I'm going home. Ask Vigor if it's alright for you to take me home. He's been so nice to me, I don't want to leave him until he says it's alright. Please hurry, I'm homesick. And why do they keep the kids in, like, a little area? <laughs> What's that about? Would it be alright to take Johnny home to his parents? You have proven your trustworthiness without doubt. Despite the fact that we'll miss little Johnny down here, we have arranged an escort for you and Johnny to go back to Modoc right now. Yes. Oh, and it takes us there right now. Thank God. Thank you for returning my boy to me. There's no way I can ever repay you, but please take this leather armor as thanks. You look really good in it. I'm telling your wife. <laughs> what? Well, come on, man. You got a wife. Why are you being a POS and hitting on some chick? Combat leather armor. Okay, let's see. Right now, I'm rocking this re re regular leather armor. 20% uh, on normal, 20% laser, 10% fire, 10% plasma, 20% explode. Let's check and see how that changes here. Oh. Wait a second, my armor class shot up by 10. Okay, this is good. We're feeling pretty good right now. Very nice. Okay. Hello, old man. Welcome to Rose's Bed and Breakfast. My name is Rose. I mean Cornelius. And I run this bed and breakfast. Can I help you? What? Okay, this guy's a little kooky. If you run this place, then how come it's called Rose's Bed and Breakfast? Rose is my wife. I named this place after her. Did you know I'm married? Does this guy have brain damage? Honest question. You need some serious help, old man. I'm not saying that. What do you do here? I run this hotel. Yep, this place would fall apart if it weren't for me. Have you been to the outhouse? Cleanest outhouse you've ever been to. That's my doing. What does having a clean outhouse have to do with running this place? Have you tried Rose's omelets? They're delicious. <laughs> He's changing the subject. Let's check out this outhouse. I don't... I don't... Watch, it's gonna be dirty as hell. What? I'm sorry, what? Oh my god, what happened? Ew, is this shit? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was... <laughs> It is shit, isn't it? Sorry. Oh, there's rocks in the way? Wait, I can blow these up, I bet. Oh yeah, it's it's uh, an explosive charge should easily clear this passage. I don't have any explosives, do I? I did see some in the store. I almost bought one. I'm gonna go get one. Okay, 14 millimeter. No, I'm pretty sure that's ass. There we go. Just one, please. Are you kidding me? I saved your town? And you're going to give me dynamite for 1600 I'm not. No. We're not doing that. I don't have anywhere near enough for that. I'm not doing that. Sorry, you can keep your dynamite. Shove it up your ass. I guess I can come back here later. I don't know if I'm going to remember that that's a thing. <laughs> I'm going to make it a sticky note. Literally put it on my monitor. I just, I do not perceive it being worth spending $1,600 to 
blow up some rocks, fight a mole rat, and then maybe have some good loot. To Vault City we go. And I knew there'd be an encounter. Some homeless people. Help us! Food, help us! Uh, bye. <laughs> okay, so now we're continuing the journey. No more homeless people. Wow, we are cruising over there. We might make it over there without an encounter. I'm trying to make an encounter pop out of nowhere. I just don't think it's going to happen. I think we're actually going to make it to Vault City. No loitering. Can I be here? Okay, I'm here. Uh, let's do a little look around. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's like too big of an area. Let's wait until daytime. Oh, it's Christmas. You see Charlie. What you got in here, Charlie? Nothing. Okay, I see how it's gonna be. You're broke? Okay, to the bar. Well now, I ain't seen you around here before, stranger. Name's Cassidy. I run this place. What can I do for you? Anything interesting going on around here? Interesting? <laughs> Friend, Vault City ain't an interesting place. Unless the guards get bored, then you better take cover. Why are you asking? You looking for something in this sinkhole? Actually, I'm looking for the vault. Vault? Only vault I know of is the one inside the city. Big friggin' hole, you can't miss it. Trust me. What do you have to drink? Beer for $20, shot of whiskey for $30 for a shot of whiskey? No, I don't want shit. Mr. Nixon doll? Well, let's check that out. You see a small dot with a red, big red nose. Oh wait, that's not what that says, me. You see a small doll with a big red nose. For some reason, you don't trust this seemingly innocent child's toy. Does it do anything? It doesn't look like it does. I could sell it, or maybe it's part of a quest. What am I going to do? You see a tired looking woman. She looks like she's been crying. What do you want? Are you okay? You look upset. I, well, it's my husband, Joshua. He got into some trouble in the bar. He accidentally struck a citizen and was arrested. He didn't mean to, but he'd been drinking and if he was drunk and attacked someone, he should be arrested. But it was an accident. I, he didn't mean to do it. Where is he now? Inside the city in the servant allocation center. They said he could work off his prison sentence as a servant, but that could take years. What can be done? I don't have much money left and we'll have to leave soon if we can't afford to pay the guards for protection. They said if we want to stay with Joshua, then they could make us servants too. Let me see what I can do, okay? Maybe I can talk to someone at the allocation center. No promises. The man in charge is Barkus, Officer Barkus. I couldn't even get inside the city to see him. I don't even know if Joshua is all right. Don't worry, I'll see what I can do. Now, would you mind if I raided your house? Okay, there's nothing in that pot. Very well. There's somebody in here talking. Hello? Well, hello there, stranger. I'm Ed, the local Brahmin dealer. Help you with something? Do you know a trader named Vic? He said he bought this vault water flask from you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fat guy, right? Leather vest? Balding? I remember him. What about him? Can you tell me where the flask came from? You know, I, I can't quite recall. I had a bunch of them for a long time. I think I picked them up during one of my Brahmin drives. Didn't need them much when I settled down. Brahmin drives? When I was a lot younger, I used to drive Brahmin through the big circle. Broken Hills, New Reno, Redding, The Den, Modoc, then back here. It just got too dangerous after a while, so I settled here. Where are these places? Let me mark it on your map. See? Broken Hills is south. Bear west on the trail from there, and you'll hit Reno. Northwest of Reno is Redding. Then it's north to the Den, east to Modoc, then east to here, Vault City. Any idea which of those places you got the flask from? Sorry, can't remember exactly. It was a long time ago. Why do you want to know? I'm looking for the vault the flask came from. Well, hell, if it's the vault you're looking for, then there's one inside the walls of Vault City. Vault 13 is inside the city? Well, now, don't know if it's 13 exactly, but there's a vault. If that ain't the one you're looking for, the vault's central computer might know where the others are. They've damn near listed everything in it. Can you tell me about Vault City? Okay, place. If you can deal with the citizens. I don't agree with some of their views, but hey, I made a make a pretty good living here. I see. Thanks for the information. I unlocked a bunch of places on the map from that guy. That's very good. 
Okay, so this is the gates to... Wow, okay, the game's running slow. I hate it when it does this. Look at that. This is awful. And here we are. Okay, much better. I don't know why it does that. Whoa. Look, outsider. If you got customs business, Wallace is in the back there, okay? He'll set you up with all the forms you need. All right, thanks. Wait, what happens if I... Let's see what they say to me now. What? Why? You're, you're wearing an original vault suit. Yes, I am, and you won't believe what I had to go through to get the damn thing. Here, take this day pass and go speak with our first citizen. I'm sure she will have many questions for you. Thanks, uh, I think I'll have some questions for her. Can I barter with this man? What? Come on. Okay, so I have a day pass. <laughs> I was like, dude, you gotta show that you have a vault suit to another vault dweller. Looks like I can go in. Day pass, please. Here you go. All right, before you go in, we have to search your belongings first. What for? Sometimes Outworlders try to smuggle alcohol or habit-forming Kims into Vault City. Buff out, Jet, Psycho, Mintats, that sort of thing. Oh, okay. Feel free to search me. All right, looks like you're clean. You can head on in. Nice. And we're in. I was first captured in the Din. Fortunately, I ended up here. Wow, so they use slaves here in Vault City. Hey, there's the vault. What's going on in the tap house? You see Lydia. Yes, can I help you? I was looking for some information. Oh, like what? Let's see, what do I want to know? <laughs> Who's in charge of Vault City? First citizen, Lynette. She's in the council building up north if you need to talk to her. I wanted to know something else. Where's the vault? It's that big hole in the mountain to the east of here. You can't miss it. You also can't get inside unless you're a citizen, though. Can you tell me about the slavery in Vault City? Look, first thing I have to say is that you better not call it slavery around here, or you're going to get yourself in a whole mess of trouble. They're called servants, not slaves. Just a word of advice. Okay, let's learn about Gecko, because it's actually the closest thing to us right now. A town of ghouls, less than a day's travel to the northeast, as I understand it. Rumor is they prey on any travelers that enter their territory. Best stay away. See, I, I read that, and I'm like, should I go there? I'm not especially strong yet. But I'm at, at the same time, I'm thinking of the ghost farm quest, and I'm like, well, that wasn't exactly what I expected, so maybe I should at least... I don't know, I think I'm going to go there after I'm done here. I guess I'm going to barter and see if she has any... Nope, she has nothing. Also, I think I might have missed something with this doll. Hey, Central Council. That's the one we're looking for. You're wearing a vault suit. I never imagined I would meet an inhabitant of another vault. This Vault 13, where is it located? Isn't this the vault my ancestor originally came from? Quite impossible. In the century we have lived outside the vault, no one has ever chosen to leave. Although there were two citizens exiled from our city long ago, as punishment for their crimes. If this is not the right vault, then I must find the one my ancestor came from. Hmm. Perhaps some mention of your vault is in our computer archives. Well, can we check? We could check the vault computers. They would probably have the information you seek. But only citizens are allowed to access the archives. Is there some way I could become a citizen? You may speak with Proconsul Gregory. He has authority to administer the citizenship test. He can be found in the meeting room down the corridor. I'll go talk to the proconsul then. Or, there is another way to become a citizen. Oh, here we go. Another way? What is it? Rather than taking the test, you could prove your commitment to the vaults in a more substantial way. As an outsider, you are in a unique position to resolve a difficult situation for us. Oh boy, something tells me this is shady. What kind of situation? There's a town if you could call it that, to the northeast of our city. It is filled with creatures that are polluting the groundwater with dangerous radiation. Is this about Gecko? I feel like this is about Gecko. How are they poisoning the groundwater? Those things are operating a damaged atomic power plant. You see, they are immune to radiation. They don't care that they are slowly killing us with their poisons. I'll take care of the problem. I'll be back when the situation's... Resolved. 
Sniff, sniff. Oh, this guy's name's Curtis. Well, I didn't talk to Curtis. I lost my friend while playing in the courtyard. His name is Mr. Nixon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I miss this guy. I don't know. The kids I just ignore a lot of times. I'm not going to lie. I'm glad I found this, though. I lost Mr. Nixon. I don't know where I left him. God, calm down, kid. Why are you whining? Let's see. This him? He was looking around for you, too. You found him. You found Mr. Nixon. Sure I did. He didn't go far. Now keep an eye on him from now on, okay? Okay, I got XP. That's nice, I guess. Well, now, if it ain't the mysterious stranger, what can I do for you today? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, now I'm really glad I came back because I just picked up this bartender. And now I have a companion again. All right, to Gecko. And here we are. Okay, we got Ghoul City over here, basically. Stay away from Vault City. Those guys are assholes. Hello there. <laughs> okay, so these guys are friendly. Manager's office. <laughs> Hello there, smooth skin. The name's Harold. I help keep this town running. Hello, Harold. What do you do here? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes to keep this place together. Better job on it than me. This place is coming apart? Well, sort of. Our atomic reactors are mind sensitive. The people I got running it mean well, but... <laughs> well, they are not the sharpest tools in the shed, if you know what I mean. What do you mean? <laughs> Need a little time on the whetstone yourself, huh? I mean, they are not too bright. Here's an example. The other day, I get a report. On it, it says the main coolant valve should be shut down. That would have caused a meltdown. That would make the Grand Canyon look like a pig waller. <laughs> that sounds bad. Oh, yeah. That would be bad. <coughs> now, I got things fixed up in time, but <laughs> we came close to the end there. Whew. They need someone to watch out for them. Good thing you're here to help them. <laughs> Who'd have thought I'd be making things right? Although, if we don't get a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator pretty damn quick, there is gonna be trouble. What the hell's a hydromagno whatever altar? <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, it's a thingy. Okay, what does it do? Without a functional hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, we are leaking radioactive coolant into the groundwater. Now, that means anyone using that water is not going to need a nightlight to take a midnight piss. Also, we need more fuel because our power plant is not burning it very efficiently. <laughs> Sounds bad. Where would you get a hydromagneto something or other? Well, I'm certain those ornery bastards in Vault City have one. Not that they'd share. Hell, even if we had one of those thingies, I'm not so certain Festus could install the dang thing. <laughs> I don't think I'd be much better. <laughs> I don't I don't have repair stat or anything. <laughs> Let's see. Vault City wouldn't give you the part? Even if it means that the groundwater wouldn't be polluted anymore? Well, they'd only help us if they thought it was in their own best interest to do so. <laughs> Not much chance of that happening. <laughs> hmm. You may be right. Still, if someone could convince them that they should help you... They shoot ghouls on sight. Makes conversation a bit tricky. I wonder if someone else could help then. We need a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator and it needs to be installed soon or we have got some real problems. What happens if you don't get that hydro part? <laughs> if we don't get it, you can bet those boneheads from Vault City will shut down our power plant permanently. What will you do then? Take dirt naps. Vault City doesn't play nice. They'll just come up here and kill all of us if we don't get that part. Well, <laughs> at least I'll have a tree for a monument. Sounds like trouble. I need to run off and see what I can do. Bye. Okay, looks like I have a mission. Hello there, I'm Skeeter. I sort of put things together here. Do you have a battery that I could use to fix a car? Funny you should ask that. You see, cars use replaceable fuel cells or batteries for fuel. What usually broke down was the fuel cell controller. Most amateur mechanics just assume that it's the battery itself, but
But you know what assuming things does, don't you? No, I don't. What do you mean? Well, assuming something makes an ass out of you and me. Get it? That's still a good one, ain't it? <laughs> I haven't used that for years. Uh, thanks for the lesson. Now, do you have a fuel cell controller? Yep, sure do. Got it right here. Just waiting for a car to be put into. You got a car? I know where one is. What's it going to cost me to get that fuel controller? Well, money's nice, but I need something else right now. Something I can't get for myself. What do you need? These days, good tools is harder to get than parts is. I need myself a brand new super tool kit. Snap something brand's best. A new tool kit? Where can I get that? I reckon that the pl best place to go and get that would be down in Vault City somewheres. They've got all kinds of tools, but they sure as heck wouldn't give them to a ghoul know how. So you want me to bring you a super tool kit and then you'll give me the car part? Exactly. That's the deal. One super tool kit for one fuel cell controller. Well, I'm going to go back to Vault City. I'm going to not talk to what's her name because I'm almost certain she's going to be like, I want you to kill those guys. Day pass, please. Here you go. Oh, elderly guy. Let's try and talk to him. Hello, can I help you? Who are you? I'm Senior Counselor McClure, and you are? Dinkelberg, pleased to meet you. What can I do for you? I think you might have a part that could fix Ge Gecko's power plant. Uh, I feel like this is risky. I don't know who to trust here. All right, let's try it. What do you mean? If I had a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, I could make their plant run clean. That's an acceptable solution. Stopping the radiation poisoning is all I care about. Uh-oh. Yep, I am so glad I didn't talk to her with this option. I'm worried that Lynette will withhold my citizenship if I fix the plant. If you fix the plant, I'll give you citizenship. And there's not a damn thing she can do about it. Excellent. Where can I get the part? Go see Randall, the chief amenities officer. He should have the part in stock. There's one other thing. You might find this economic data disk interesting. I'm sorry, an economic data disk? What do you mean? It's an economic data disk that shows the amount of energy that Gecko's atomic power plant produced before the war, and it could produce again. I see. So what does this have to do with me? Well, as I understand it, Vault City's power generator can only support so many people. In fact, it's already nearing its limit. I'm not going to ask you how you came by that information, but if it were true, what are you proposing? Once the Gecko power plant is fixed, the disk indicates it's possible it could produce enough energy for Vault City, too. It looks like the reactor would need to be optimized first, though. Are you suggesting we seize Gecko and take their power plant? I will not listen- No, no! If Gecko could receive the optimization data for their plant, I'm betting they would be willing to trade their excess power for medical assistance. Hmm. As far as medical assistance goes, I'm not unsympathetic to the plight of the ghouls. They have certainly suffered enough. But how could we optimize their plant? I don't know. Maybe there's someone I can talk to once the plant is repaired? I have no objections to your proposal. If you can find some means of optimizing the plant, let me know. Alright, I'll go get that part from Randall and see about repairing the reactor first. I'll keep the economic disc and study it some more. Perhaps I can persuade the council to enter negotiations with Gecko to trade for their power. The data disc would be a strong argument in and of itself. I appreciate it. Thanks. This is incredibly complicated. At least it feels like it is. Maybe it's not. I say it is, but I don't actually know. Oh, we repaired the power plant. I'm a coming, McClure. That's his name, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's his name. Can I ask you some questions? I repaired Gecko's plant. That's not a question. Chosen one. Excellent. I was worried that the radiation buildup might force us to relocate. You are to be commended on a job well done. Here's your citizenship papers. If you ever need anything, come see me. Vault City prevails, Counselor. I'm not saying that. I'm just going to say thanks. Okay, I'm a citizen now. Hello, citizen. May I help you? I'd like to enter the vault. Of course. Please pass through. Thank you. So now I'm a citizen of this terrible, terrible city with slavery... Uh, no, sorry, servants. Hey, but we're in the vault. That's cool. Man, get your alcoholism in order here, Cassidy. I'm trying to lock pick a door. All this fun stuff's locked. Whoa, ah. Whoa, easy there. 
you, you, you nearly scared the life out of me. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. That's okay. It's just not many people come into the vault. Okay, we're gonna barter. He's got pocket lint. How much? How much? Oh, it's free. What? Come on. All right, I'll pay one. I want the lint. I don't care if it does anything. Can I buy your lint for this? That's a good trade. Yes, it is a good trade. Okay, that was fun. We bought some lint. You have logged on to the Vault City Central Computer. The interface seems relatively easy to understand. Everything seems to be broken down into archives. Well, first, let's do the Gecko Power Plant disk. So we're going to insert that. Reading, reactor data, atomic power plant, efficiency, 43% to 75% error, plant calibration, MD4, GH1. Do you wish to optimize? Begin optimization procedure. Beginning optimization procedure. Optimizing. Optimization complete. Please remove disk. Search for any mention of Vault 13 in the archives. Well, first of all, I know we're going to do both, but I want to know if they know where the Garden of Eden creation kit is. Also known as Gek. According to the archives, there is no Gek currently in stock at Vault City's amenities office. The people of Vault City seem to have used the only one they had to help establish the place when they came to the surface. Dang it. Scroll through the remaining information. From what you can make out in the archives, two Geks were part of every Vault standard inventory package. Only one was shipped to Vault 8, however. Due to a shipping error, it appears Vault 8 received a box of surplus water chips intended for another vault. The other vault most likely received Vault 8's second Gek. Okay, let's search for any mention of Vault 13 in the archives. The archives list only two vaults. Vault 8, this vault. Okay, so we're in Vault 8. And Vault 15, located far to the south. Oddly enough, there is no mention of Vault 13. You enter Vault 15's location into your pit boy. Okay, so now if we, we know where Vault 15 is, then we know where Vault 13 is. Because Vault 15 is the first place a lot of players go in the first game after they've done the Shady Sands part, if they stop at Shady Sands. So it's directly across, so Vault 13 is going to be to the left. Very useful. Okay, we're done here. As you're about to turn away, you suddenly notice a small picture of the Pip-Boy located beneath the terminal. Next to the picture is a slot that looks about the size of your Pip-Boy. Should I do this? I don't see what the problem would be. They can, they're not going to take it away from you. Insert your Pip-Boy into the empty slot. A small window opens on the terminal screen with a smiling Pip-Boy next to it. As you watch, the Pip-Boy starts whistling silently and tapping his feet. A red light is flashing behind the computer slot. An unhealthy grinding noise comes from the pit boy slot. The pit boy continues to whistle silently and tap his feet. Wait. Oh, God. I'm going to keep waiting, though. Pit boy suddenly... The pit boy suddenly stops and frowns. An exclamation mark appears above his head, and he starts wagging his finger at you. Try and determine what is wrong. A small display beneath the pit boy states that your last scheduled maintenance was 50,352 years ago. The archives are corrupted and need to be reformatted. Do you wish to proceed? Uh, I guess. I'm just going to do it. I'm, I don't know. Let's do it. Initialization procedure beginning. Reformatting Pip-Boy. Northern California Geographical Archive is being copied into Pip-Boy data database. Copying archive. Broken Hills. Gecko. New California Republic. New Reno. Redding. Vault City. Download complete. Okay. So does, it, does that mean I have all these locations? Like... Uh, NCR location, which I'm assuming is Shady Sands. Cool. That was it, right? We are out of here. Okay, I guess I just gotta go up here and then do this. Where is it? There's my lint. Reactor hollow disk. I did it. All right, next time we'll see what we can really get into here. I'm hoping there's a lot to do here. This place seems kind of big. Like, there's a lot going on. And then up here, you can even go even further. So it looks like there's a lot going on. But anyway, that's going to be it for now, folks. Peace.